When a lot of us decide to start making YouTube videos, you can bet we only have one thing on our minds. Partner. You know, getting rich and famous for sitting in front of your camera being your idiot self. And while we can all understand the appeal of shooting a video for a couple hours without any pants on, yep, that's 100% skin down there. And then blowing some dough on a new jetpack. Unfortunately, many of us are finding out right about now. All right, screw this. Going viral on YouTube is no easy task. It takes hard work and dedication, just like any other thing you were initially excited about but then gave up on due to a lack of hard work and dedication. Of course, there are those few who hit the YouTube lottery and are lucky enough to upload a video with instant success. Look, it's a cat dressed up as another cat. That's so f***ing cute. Bam, 50 million views in 10 minutes. Otherwise, you're stuck here in the slums of YouTube just like the rest of us. And let me tell you, it's rough down here. You gotta work your rump off to get noticed. You've gotta market yourself. You've gotta take it seriously, or else you might have to give up your dream of getting undeservedly rich for doing nothing and actually go out and get a real job. Just kidding. There are actually some pretty talented people out there on YouTube who deserve the recognition they're getting, so good for them. Others, not so much. As a permanent resident of the slums, I couldn't help but notice the different styles people take on to try to increase their view counts and subscribers. You know that guy or girl who just can't stand when other people get all the attention? Well, in the wonderful world of YouTube, these are the people who click on all the most popular videos, don't watch them at all, and instead shamelessly plug their own channels in the comments section. Forget this guy's video. Read my comment instead. Come check out my channel. And that's how we make a complete dump. Not bad, but my videos are better. <coughs> Polly, want to check out my videos? <laughs> comment! This guy's okay, but my videos are better, so come check him out. Check out my channel. These guys really work it. They put themselves out there at all hours of the night, promoting their channel on other people's channels as if their lives depended on it. They'll have over a million friends or contacts or whatever it is now, but they don't know any of them and have never even watched a single one of their videos. Like a street worker who's come into contact with so many clients that he or she can't remember who has the biggest or who is the best. Hey, you want a good time? You like to laugh? <laughs> yeah, you do. How about some <laughs> Yeah, I got that too. So come here, come check me out. I wanna show you something. I made a video. You'll like it. I swear it'll be the best three minutes of your life. Here, add me as a contact. Add me, add me, add me. Maybe not you. And don't forget to subscribe for some more <laughs> Not to be confused with a whore, trust me. I would know. This can describe one of two kinds of people. The first is a girl who uses her ahem assets to get people to watch and like her videos, which may not be all that special, save for the memory action. The second type are guys who ask their chesty gal pals to make cameos in their videos, because everyone knows the less the clothes, the more the views, no matter what your video is about. For example, if I were dressed as I am now and started vlogging about, oh, say, that time of the month, here's how it would go. So yesterday I started my period and I had the worst cramps. Oh god, it was like Niagara Falls down there. Blood was just gushing out of my boot. Now let's take a look at some of the comments for that video. Scarred for life. Why god, why? You deserve to die, you worthless hoe bag. But the simple addition of some of these makes a world of difference. So yesterday I started my period and I had the worst cramps. I swear it was like Niagara Falls down there, blood just gushing out of my but Now let's check the comments for that video. Damn, that's hot. I'd hit that even while she was on her period. You can have your period all over my, oh God, that's disgusting. These guys are a little too friendly. They'll butter you up, maybe send a nice message or leave a charming channel comment, but in the end, you'll discover they only have one thing on their minds, and once they get it, 
they're not the time to stick around till morning. Oh my god. So remember that guy with the username some sleazy self-absorbed guy who kept sending me these sweet messages on my YouTube account like, oh my god, you're so cute and oh my god, I love your videos. Yeah, well then he sends me this message going, hey, could you do me a favor and subscribe to my channel, beautiful? Well yeah, of course they did because he called me beautiful. But you know what? As soon as I subscribed, I couldn't get a hold of him. He never responds to my messages anymore. It's like he fell off the face of the planet or something. God, I regret ever subscribing to him. And you know what? His videos didn't even really make me laugh. Yeah, I faked it. These guys will throw in all sorts of cool offers and deals if you give their channel a chance. This is the best new channel you're watching right here. 100% guaranteed. Guaranteed. It's fresh, it's got original content, and no preservatives. And I'll tell you what, for the first 100 subscribers, I'll throw in a sub back. Yes, that's right, a sub for sub. What's that? You want more? How about box for box? And you know what? If you subscribe within the next 10 minutes, I'll even add you as a contact and throw in a like for each one of your videos. Don't pass up this incredible offer. These people use either naughty or trending tags to trick people into watching their videos. For example, boring person talking about nothing would pretty accurately describe my videos. But that's not going to get me any viewers, so let's spice it up a bit. Mm. Cats. Ray William Johnson. Smosh. Jeremy Lin. Autotune. Girl. On girl. Boobs. <laughs> Lesbians. All kinds of doing all kinds of nasty to each other. There. That should do the trick. Now, the wingman approach is quite clever. As in the real world, you get a friend to talk you up to random potential hookups, or in this case, subscribers. And on YouTube, you don't even need friends. Good, because I don't have any. You can simply create a second account and mass message strangers with your videos under the guise of being someone else. Hey, check my friend Diana's videos out. I think you'll get a real kick out of them. I also think she's super pretty. But that's just my opinion. But it should be yours too. This person resorts to pleading others to watch, like, and subscribe. Please, could you spare some views? I need your help. Please check out my channel. Please like my videos. Have a heart. Could you please subscribe? Please? 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 Oh god, I need a job. Who needs to advertise to others when you can watch your own videos over and over and over again? Refresh, 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 refresh. What else could I possibly want to do on a Saturday night? Well, no matter what the advertising style, one thing's for certain. People down here in the slums of YouTube are working their asses off to try to hightail it out of here and into the rich neighborhoods with all the good Halloween candy. So hats off to all us little people for striving to reach our goals. Hopefully one day, just like the best of them, we'll gain fleeting recognition from total uncaring strangers. But the simple addition of some of these... <laughs> but the simple addition of some of these... Damn it. Sorry, baby. Are you okay? And that's how you make a complete dinner. <laughs> I couldn't get one. <laughs> uh, do it like this. Damn it. Check out my channel. <laughs> Check out. Oh. Yes. Where? Oh, my finger. Oh, 